fantastic film, an unappreciated film. These are one of these films that people have to learn about and know about because it's a great film. And you got that funny clip. <laughs> it's a great clip out with Mel Brooks, downtown L.A., trying to make some extra money. I love it. All right, Marvin, get ready with that clip. Good afternoon. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500 here in Grove Beach, Florida. Today's topic is the film Life Stinks. Well, life doesn't really stink, folks, but that's the name of this film. Now, before we get on to this topic, if you haven't subscribed, please take a second and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. We wouldn't do that to you. We appreciate you. We know we need you more than you need us. So thank you for that subscribe, and thank you to all our loyal subscribers. Now let's get on to Life Stinks. Life Stinks was released in 1991, produced, directed, and co-written by Mel Brooks. He also stars in this film, along with Leslie Ann Warren and Jeffrey Tambor. Now, the basic story is this. Mel Brooks plays the part of Goddard Bolt, and he owns Bolt Enterprises. He's a big shot. He's a multi-millionaire, and he's got this property downtown L.A. Well, he's got half of this large area of property, and the other half belongs to one of his rivals, some corporate big shot named Vance Craswell, played by Jeffrey Tambor. And they're up on this high-rise building looking down in that area, and they make this bet about that property, because they each want each other's other half of the property. So the crazy bet that's made is, Vance says he can't believe God Goddard Bolt has the, the guts, the, the knowledge to survive downtown and live there for 30 days. So the deal with the bet is this. He's got to live downtown L.A. for 30 days, he can't leave the general area that they have roped out. He's got to wear an ankle bracelet. And if he gets out of that zone for longer than 30 seconds, he loses the bet. And he loses his property. But if he can do it for the 30 days and not get out of the zone and survive, he wins the other guy's property. It's all about the property. So they agree to this wild bet. So they shave his mustache off, they pull off his toupee, take away his watch, his jewelry, his credit cards, his money, drop him off downtown L.A., and the bet and the adventure begin. Now, we've got a clip of Mel Brooks trying to make some extra money downtown. You know, now that he's homeless, he's trying to earn some money. Are you ready for this? It's a great clip, folks. All right. Martin, you got it ready? Let's do it. Roll the clip. Cleaning your windshield, sir. Cleaning my windshield? You made it worse. <coughs> yeah, that better? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Can I have a dollar, please? Will you get away from the screen? By my head! scene. Well, he didn't make any money, but he didn't have his act down yet. He didn't get his routine down, you know. And then he got a little angry. You know, you got to give people time to warm up to you. Then he'll start making some money. He can come back tomorrow and try again. Now, originally, this film was going to be called Life Sucks, but the studio insisted they change the title because they thought that was a little bit of a rough title. So they changed it to Life Stinks. And Mel Brooks said that this was the film that he was most proud of because he was really proud of his acting in this film. He thought he did a great job acting in it, and I have to agree. 
I think he did a great job with everything he did in this film, the writing, the directing, the producing, the acting, and it's my favorite Mel Brooks film. Now, they had a budget of $13 million, but it did not do well at the box office. They lost money. They only made a little over $4 million. Now, part of the reason probably was it wasn't probably marketed well, and they were up against tough competition, because back in 1991, at that time, Backdraft was out with Kurt Russell, City Slickers, Terminator 2, Home Alone. So probably people didn't have too much for this interest of this film over here called Life Stinks. But in time, they developed a cult following. And it's growing and developing more of a following to this day. And I hope I help it because it's a great film. Now, it has a hidden message in this film. Now, what could be a hidden message about homelessness or homeless people or that whole thing, right? Well, basically, it's this. It takes a lot more skill, courage, and intelligence to live without money than to make a great deal of it and spend it. I agree with that. And we got a special treat from you because we got homeless lines from this film. Now, Mel Brooks took on the name as Pepto because he saw that in a cardboard box he was sleeping in. And he said, that would be a good name for me as a homeless person, Pepto. So Pepto's got a line or two in this special homeless Lines. You know what that means? I'm going to put Marvin back to work with homeless lines. You know what I'm going to ask for, Marvin, right? Drum roll, please. Thank you, Marvin. I put my glasses on, and I'm going to give you lines from the homeless people in the film. And it's kind of interesting, funny lines, but at the same time, it makes you think a little bit. Are you ready? Okay, Fumes, one of the homeless guys. Fumes says... This is Fumes, reporting from downtown, and I'll tell you what's happening. The rich and famous are partying in our neighborhood. And guess what? We effed it up. <laughs> Fumes again. When I die, I'd like to come back as a bird, because, man, I could fly free and easy, and if I saw someone I didn't care for too much, I'd drop a hot one on them. I like Fumes. Pepto says, they force us to live in the crap. Now they're taking the crap. No. And J. Paul Getty. Now, this is a funny scene between Pepto and J. Paul Getty. I'm just going to give you a little bit of it. You know J. Paul Getty, right? J. Paul Getty says, I'm J. Paul Getty. I'm the richest man in the world. You don't see me ranting and raving about my losses. Pepto says, what losses? The crash, the slash, the smash. <laughs> And finally, last, Pepto's love interest, Molly. Molly says, I know there are only moments, but that's all that we have in life is a bunch of moments. Most of them are pretty lousy, but every now and then, you steal a good one. You know, I had an uncle that said the same thing about moments. He said, that's all life really is, just moments in life. Hopefully you have a lot of good moments. Well, if you want to see this film, you can see it on YouTube, Tubi, Amazon, Prime Video, a few other places. I want to hear your favorite scene in the comment section. What do you think about this film? Now, I'm not going to tell you the ending or anything. You have to watch the film to find out if he gets the property or not and how all that works out. There's some twists and turns in this film, but it's going to keep you entertained. It's going to keep you laughing. You're going to be enjoying this film. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this report. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500. Have a great day.